Oh, oh. I'm like, how PG are we gonna go? No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hi guys. All right, welcome to Cosmetology. We have <laughs> Kelsey over here. Just happy to join us here with a little bit of question that our crew has prepared. I've never seen it. And of course, Kelsey hasn't seen it. I haven't seen them. Yes, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna be just um, throwing each other questions and I'm excited. Are you excited? I love, I'm a talker, so like, okay. I'm like, and an open book, so you can ask me anything. Okay, now, that, now that's interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> I think I've actually struggled with this a little bit because I'm a cur you know, I've curves mm -hmm. and I think growing up, I really struggled to like my big thighs. Okay. But now I like love my thighs because when it's cold outside, I can get heat from them right here. No, um, I, think, I think like I, in terms of um, me, the relationship of my body to myself, like I've really kind of had a roller coaster, mm -hmm. but um, recently I've really had just this beautiful self-love, um, you know, transformation. Right. Mm -hmm. And I I really do love all, any place on my body that has some curves in it, I love. Oh, that's I very it's nice. My favorite. So, the whole body then. Yeah, yeah. Is that cheating? Because I'm No, it's favorite. not. Well, it did say favorite body. The whole body is your favorite. There yeah. You go. Yeah. <laughs> I like my thighs, my hips, my butt. Right. And there's no right or wrong answer over here, which just makes it fun. I think I'm going to answer those because I didn't like those before, and now I love them. Okay, with my mom, one thing that... So my mom, I feel that... Okay, oh, this is very interesting. Okay, <laughs> okay of course it's sensitive. Oh, I'm excited. Mom. Okay, so with my mom, one thing that, that most people wouldn't know is that, um, well, she keeps me grounded. Okay. That's good. Because as far as like, you know, like, you know how you're, you know, like, oh, you're doing good and you're doing awesome. My mom always makes sure it's like, remember where you started, remember how you were. And I'm always like, come on, this is my time to shine, mom. And she's like, mm mm. <laughs> So there, Come so she down. keeps me grounded, which is very, very good I because it's, it's very humbling. Because when you know when you have all these things right now you're like, happening and totally. going for you, you're like, okay, and then you, when you share this, it's like, hi, hey! and then your mom is just like, mm. you know, it's mm -hmm. like, there you go. So I that's love that's that. it. Yeah, so she keeps me humble. Oh, yeah. I love that. <laughs> Like, how PG are we gonna go? No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I think one of my favorite things about my partner, Russell, mm -hmm. is when he, like, makes, I'm a gift giver. That's like one of my love languages, okay. right? So I love when like people give gifts or I give gifts. Right. That's like my big thing. So I love it when he does like the little thoughtful things mm -hmm. for me, not to me, Aww. but for me. Like, <laughs> He'll get up really early if I have mm -hmm. to be out of the house and he'll make my breakfast shake or he'll make sure that like all my laundry is done for my next mm -hmm. day. Just like the little things. So it's the little things, yeah. right? And like the big grand things are awesome too. Always, always welcome. Right, of I'm course. like, okay, but they're awesome too. <laughs> but I like the little the things little and things. I think those go so much farther in a relationship as you like are with someone for a longer period Because of time. it goes in the memory bank. Totally, you know? And totally. those things, they go interest. And when he feeds the dogs, like there's just a lot of things I love. Oh yes, this. and you know, bring out the trash. <laughs> yeah, the little things. Cleans, laundry, no, yes. no, but he's very thoughtful and I'm really very that appreciative. That is very cute. <laughs> this is not fair. Okay. Just one. Just okay. one. First, there's going to be a disclaimer right now. <laughs> I'm already welcoming Bring in the Hate. <laughs> there's, there's only one that I can say. Is that what it is? Yeah, just one. You'd want to be in a cave. If you were in trapped a in a cave, who do you want to be it's with? It's totally unfair. It's like I have to talk to the, <laughs> I have to talk to the person. Just one. Okay. Very tough. Very, very tough. That, but probably I would keep. Um, uh, <laughs> Keep? What are you keep. kicking the other eleven uh, out? <laughs> I would, I, I would keep a cancerian. Okay. Yes, because my sister is. Okay. Oh, there you go. We yeah. could be there, stuck yes. in a cave yes. together. Yes. My sister is a cancerian, and okay. we we're a tandem. You know, it's like we yeah. grew up hating each other, but now we grew up loving each other. So basically, we'll survive in the cave. Yeah. Either it's like Hunger Games. You know, I it's love like that. if the horn sounds by the end of the night in the cave, one survives the next yeah. day. That's why I'll keep my sister oh. because either we survive or we don't. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, it's either or. It's either yeah. be good or bad. It's good or bad. So, but, oh wow. So there you go. Sorry, eleven zodiacs. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this is like one of those questions where like you you, you should have something just like 
on the back. I don't know if I have like any crazy hidden talent. Uh -huh. You know what? Here, I'll do one. Okay. Um, I grew up in Tokyo and I can speak Japanese. No. Mm -hmm. So I'll say it like a little quick. Okay, go ahead. Konnichiwa, it's Aisha Nama, my kid, she does. Oh my God, I wouldn't even know. <laughs> so, it's so crazy and bizarre, but I grew up in Tokyo from when I was um, like a little baby to when I was eight. Okay. So you still care, like you, you, you still know how to speak? A, and a little bit, it? a little bit. Okay. That, that is so surprising. <laughs> See, that is a hidden talent right there. It's a, very crazy, <laughs> but yeah, I had a great time. I loved it. I love to travel. A mm -hmm. lot of my family is from the Philippines mm -hmm. or a lot of my family lives in Asia. So. I, yeah, we were in Tokyo for like, my parents were there for 25 years. I was there for eight, my sister for 14. And yeah, oh, wow. so I can speak a little Japanese. Okay, <laughs> that is pretty awesome. <laughs> I don't know. And then I speak a little Spanish and I speak a little Czech. Oh, wow. You're very bizarre. Okay. Like no, like Spanish you can use like mm -hmm. in Los Angeles. That's a, that's a good one. Czech and Japanese, like not so much. Okay. Because every time people go out to sushi with me, they're like, okay, yes. order. And I'm like, no. Like, I saw no. some memes about this. No, don't make me <laughs> do it. Funny, like, yeah. So yeah, if, but I will say I'm a sushi snob. Like you don't want to like go out mm -hmm. or like ramen. Yeah, like, you're like, uh huh. <laughs> Excuse me. When was this fish caught? No. I'm <laughs> I remember. Okay, so I was at Long Beach. Okay. Okay. And it was, um, it was a fair. So um, we were, we were. It, there was a lot of things going on, and it was a. A, a big field of all this, you know, like lining up for right. foods and all this stuff. Okay. And then I think I like it because this is the first time that I got recognized. Okay. Ooh. And then that someone asked for a picture. Okay. And I was in total awe because it's like <laughs> I, I am oblivious that people know me. Right. Because it's like, you know, every day. But he's amazing. <laughs> you are amazing. Oh, thank you. Every day I talk to the camera and I always feel like it's like, it's just a camera. Right. And then, you know, I was in Long Beach and then it's like, but it wasn't just one person. So from one person, you know, I was, I was just in line for food. And then we, we it's always about the food I right, think with right. me. So, <laughs> so we went to a restaurant, I sat in a restaurant and then it was very endearing also, um, cause this, uh, the, the fan goes like, um, she goes like, uh, you don't even know how much I have helped her. And then I was like, for me, it's like I literally, you know, go on my day when I do my videos. And for me, it's like I just express what, right. is, what is there. And then I, mean, I was oblivious also, like, you know, I was helping other people. Totally. And I was for me, it's like, oh, wow, it's like that's a lot for me to even absorb because it's like yeah. I really didn't know. Because I always just say, just saying, you know? <laughs> that's so cool though. Cause like, yeah, it's like you post your videos, mm -hmm. but then someone's watching those videos. Yes. I, f I feel the same way on social media. Like you never know where that message is going, going. and who's yes. it, who's it that's so cool. And that's, that's for me, that, that was it. It's just like, that was so special for me. It's like, mm -hmm. that's the first time. That was the first time I was like, wow. It's like I'm making an impact or something totally. like that. Oh, and you are, <laughs> okay. don't sell yourself short. I think with social media, a lot of people think they know oh, what yes. I'm going to be like yes. because of my Instagram or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a total weirdo. I'm very like loud and mm -hmm. vivacious and I just kind of, you know, live life without judgment uh -huh. from people. So I think a big misconception is that um, maybe I come off a little like a bitch. I don't know. Like some <laughs> people might think I'm a little like, I don't know. Like no, very strong. Full you're, of you're myself not. or something. When I Instagram. saw her Instagram, it was very fierce, and I probably would be like, it's just like, okay, like the personality is so strong. Thank like, you. It's so strong. But then, then I met you, like it was so warm. It's not strong. So yeah, it, you know, yeah, it gets, you know, it, it's a misconception. It's a misconception. Yes, it is a misconception. And then I think once people get to know me, and like even just like for a couple minutes, like I. I'm very warm and open and, yes. and no judgment. I, I love to embrace people around me. So mm -hmm. um, I think, yeah, for my modeling photos versus like, you know, what I actually look like in mm -hmm. real life, sometimes <laughs> there's a misconception, but um, yeah, I want people to know that I'm always open to talking to people and right. Yeah. I'm because just, her warm. Instagram is fearless and fierce. So is his, this goes both ways. I just learned so much about you, I love oh, that. Oh, well, likewise, you know, those questions were one. Those are Next good. time we would have to review it. Yeah. <laughs> Next time. Yes, in the edited version, I'll be yelling at the back. The next video will be us in a cave. No. Yes, but for now, this is just gonna be like a, you know, like an, our, our kind of like our first questions, you know, like this whole, we're trying out something new with this channel. I love it. And I'm very, very happy that 
Kelsey was here to join us. So wonderful. Triple Cancerian, Triple Gemini and Vedic, and totally amazing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so, so thank much. you very much for joining us. And then, like what I said uh, here, well, I haven't said anything with cosmic literature. So I've come up with something. But for now, it's going to be Dilo and just saying. Alrighty, bye.